Hello, today we'll be talking about the rate matrix module included in the all-in-one underwriting model for real estate. Now this is a tool that's not typical in the industry, but I thought is worthwhile to include in this model. And here's the reasoning. Well, in, in real estate, there are a number of ways to value a property, right? So appraisers might use uh, the sales comparison method or the cost method, perhaps the capitalization method, right? Capping uh, a, a a specific year's net operating income by a given cap rate, or they'll use a discounted cash flow method, right? So you take uh, some projected uh, forecast string of cash flows into the future, discount those back to today at some discount rate to get today's present value at that discount rate. And so this model, uh, again, it's it's this is a quantitative model. We're looking purely at forecasting cash flows into the future, and thus our valuation methods here are either the capital capitalization method with a cap rate or a DCF method uh, using the discount rate. And what the rate matrix concept does is it allows you as an organization to set up cap base cap rates and base discount rates depending on specific uh, property types and markets so that as you're looking at deals, you really are, are comparing those deals apples to apples. Every deal in San Francisco that is a specific type of multifamily, let's say, you're going to assign this base cap rate. And then you can adjust the cap rate or adjust the discount rate based on uh, the property specific elements, but you're at least starting from, from the same place every time you open the model. And so how, how to set this up? Well, first, you open the model, go to the summary tab, you'll notice I haven't turned on any of the modules yet. And you see here right smack in the middle we have this valuation details and we have these two green fonted cells. Now green font means it's, it's a value pulled from a different cell. And what's happening here is these base, this base cap rate and this base discount rate is being pulled from our rate matrix tab. And then you can assign some adjustment, either up or down, to arrive at an adjusted cap rate or your adjusted discount rate. So you're asking, how do I then change my rate matrix to work uh, for me? And what you're going to do, you'll come down here under navigation and you're going to unhide or you're going to show your calculation tabs. And in those calculation tabs, you'll find the rate matrix. And you'll just go ahead and click here. And you'll notice a big blue box here and a blue box here and a lot of blue uh, cells. Those are These are inputs that you will need to enter. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to assign the type of location uh, that you're going to be tracking. So in my case, I'm tracking MSAs in the United States. This cell then links to this cell, right? And there's our MSA. And then here are our inputs, right? And here are all of these MSAs. These MSAs appear, if we come back to the rate matrix, in this list. And we can delete these, change these all we want. In fact, we're going to do that right now. So I'm just going to come down. I'm going to delete, select all of them, delete. And then I'm just going to use a few countries. So I'm going to change this to country. I'm going to say United States, Mexico, Canada, and Belize to use for. And you may use states, you may use countries, you may use cities. Perhaps you're in a particular city and you want to just put submarkets within that city. You could put city blocks, whatever it may be that you're, you are going to assign different cap rates and different discount rates for those locations. And then if we come back to the summary, you'll see what happens as soon as we change, so long as any inputs we do for our location fall within this column, as long as that happens, and I give you up to, shoot, 93 some odd uh, options. Come back to the summary. When we go to our drop down menu, first notice it changed the country. And then our drop down menu has just our four countries. So I'm going to change this to United States. Next, we want to set cap rates based on different property types. And we, are, let's say, hypothetically, we are a retail investor. And so rather than having office, retail, industrial, multifamily, whatever, Maybe you're going to want community, I don't know, uh, regional, super regional. Maybe you have mall, right? So, and, and by the way, you can put up to 10 property types. 
we then need to assign cap rates to each. Now, you'll notice I have cap rates down here for these blank. I'll need to go ahead and delete those. Let's go ahead and select all those and hit delete. And then assign cap rates, and I've already done that. And I'm just gonna leave those as they are. Next, I want to assign discount rates. Well, I'll come over to this column, or to this table. I'm just gonna delete these unnecessary discount rates. And then I'll leave what's in here right now. I, I have it defaulted to be one percentage point higher than the cap rate. That There's no basis to that other than I needed to do it sim just simply have a different discount rate than the cap rate and the discount rate generally is higher than the cap rate. So I have those discount rates. Now you'll notice this right here is the output for our discount rate and our cap rate and it's saying error. Now the reason it's saying error is because Look, the property type is still showing us office, yet we don't have an office property type anymore. So we need to come back to the summary, and fear not, I've defaulted this so that if, if these calculations error out, it will give you just a base cap rate of six and seven. That's to keep the entire workbook from erring out. But we come up here to property type, and now let's select uh, mall. And you'll see now our cap rate changes. And our cap rate shows 8%. So it needs to be 8% is what a cap rate a mall in the United States is. Let's come back and confirm that that's the case. United States, mall, 8%. And the same with our uh, discount rate should be 9%. Let's come look, 9%. And that's how, that's how this uh, rate matrix concept works. If you have questions, shoot me an email. Uh, happy to respond to those. And uh, thanks for your time.